I shaved my legs for this occasion because you might end up whacking your teammates in the face. I've done that before. Hi friends, it's Ali Shalaby and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. All the hot girls make it pop pop pop. Bad bitches with the bag say ay ay ay. Today I am going to be getting ready for my first official judo class since March of 2020. So, corona kind of got in the way of us practicing together in my dojo. I have been practicing on my own, but this will be my first real class actually back in the dojo with my teammates so since this is a special occasion i shaved my legs for this occasion we're just gonna get ready together because i know actually a lot of you guys do judo as well so the first thing we're gonna do i just got out of the shower and i'm just going to brush my hair back into a ponytail and there are a lot of different styles you can do. Um, I know I've talked to other girls and women who struggle with finding a good style to put their hair back in when they're doing judo, jujitsu, like any martial art. But, you know, the classic ponytail really comes through. Although it's not the best if you have really long hair because you might end up whacking your teammates in the face. I've done that before. So I'm just gonna put one more hair tie in because if I don't, I am going to be readjusting my hair the entire hour and a half practice and we don't want that. So now I'm just gonna use some Eco Style. I always wanna say Eco Tools, but this isn't Eco Tools. Eco Style Gel and slick my hair down and just keep it out of my face as much as possible because we don't want anything like sticking to our faces. If you have long enough hair, then you know when you start to get really sweaty when you're exercising, your little baby hairs will stick to your forehead and that's really uncomfortable. So we're just gonna slick that back. And then next, oh, I wanna show you guys my playlist. Does anyone else have a very specific playlist for a very specific occasion? Because I have a specific driving to judo playlist. Yeah. All the boys that can't help it, it's a habit. That watch a is that's nice though. Casio here to keep the price low. Spend a few years drowning in vodka, you was an obsession. Yeah, I'm like, no way, no way, yeah. I don't mean to be so cruel, but look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Okay, now that our little jam sesh is over, we are going to head into the bathroom because I greatly admire people who can do judo wearing glasses, but I'm not one of them. So we're going to put my contacts in and then brush my teeth, use some mouthwash, because I don't want people to be smelling my nasty breath if I'm all up in their faces. So now that my breath is fresh, we are just going to pick out what I'm going to wear. So obviously, if you do judo, you know you have to wear a gi. So I'm going to wear that. But I also like to wear spandex under my shorts, especially when I'm wearing white pants. Because A, if you don't, you can see the color of your underwear. And B, being a girl, I just don't want to get my period and have that be be a situation. So I'm just gonna wear these ones that I've had since like sixth grade. And then this Nike sports bra matches my belt, so it's perfect. And then I am going to wear just, I think this tank top over it, just basic black. So, yeah, I'm just going to change and then we'll see what we're going to do next. Okay, my gi is on, so we're just going to put on some deodorant and then some body spray because I don't want to start smelling five minutes into warm-ups. And 
and then chapstick because I realized my lips are really crusty. Now that I am done getting myself ready, I just wanted to show you guys what I actually carry with me in my judo bag. So I have, let me try and find the, so I have this stack of papers, which is just a practice test that I did a while ago, so I don't need to keep it, but I still have it with me just for reference. And then I carry a notebook with me so I can take any notes, um, especially if I'm at a seminar or just training with a coach who I am not familiar with, don't normally train with. Um, it's always good to be able to write things down. And then, of course, deodorants and eye drops for my contacts. And I also carry this little roll-on perfume, which is nice because it's so portable since it's tiny. And then I have this belt for tournaments. I actually got this from my coach because I didn't have a blue belt. And if you don't do judo or you're new and you don't know how tournaments work, um, if you don't have a different color gi than your opponent, then you'll have to wear either a blue or white belt. You'll, it's just designated to you um, by whoever's running the competition. So I brought this with me to my first tournament and my coach just gave it to me to have, which was very nice of him. And then I also carry spare contacts because you never know when you're gonna need them. Again, I have some Zyrtec, Benadryl, and then cough drops just to be safe. And more eye drops. And then this cool little massage ball. So normally you probably wouldn't use it on your arm, but it just helps if you need to roll something out before or after practice. And then I also have a tennis ball, again, for rolling out sore muscles. And of course my water bottle, because you gotta stay hydrated for practice. And then I would also carry just a little first aid kit with me normally, but I need to restock and fix it up because it has a lot of old stuff in it. Um, I wanna put some different things in it so I don't have it with me, but I would normally also carry something that has like tape, band-aids, things like that. Um, because again, injuries are normal, that stuff happens, and yeah, you just wanna be prepared. So now that I've shown you guys everything that I have with me, we are just gonna get ready to go. So I think I'll put fresh water in my water bottle because that water's from like two weeks ago. So don't wanna use that. And then I'm also just gonna grab my wallet and my keys because obviously I'm not going anywhere without them. Okay, it's 6.05 now, so I am just going to head to practice, and I'll probably be like 10 minutes early, hopefully, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and tell me below if you do judo or if you have any ideas or requests for other judo-related videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!